All right, we're back here with Ultra Chen, and uh, it's actually um, Choi Chen. Choi Chen. Choi Chen today. <laughs> Chen, Chen Sauce. Chen Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually Ultra Chen. Chen. Sauce TV. David has turned interestingly Korean here. <laughs> no, but um, someone actually asked uh, in the chat mm -hmm. um, about Jump Install. I covered that in detail in one of the execution episodes. So again, look that up. Yeah. So basically, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, uh, between this and then the execution episodes that you'll also find that are also first attack on the YouTube, which is again, uh, youtube.com slash uh, you can find a lot of information on other things too, like mm -hmm. how to do dust, how to maximize your dust combos, how to do jump installs, how to option select your throws and stuff like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. I go through a lot of... Yeah, I mean, just to quickly answer that, I guess uh, just jump install is mainly for combos. Don't, yeah. don't worry about it otherwise. Mm -hmm. and, and seriously, like, only two characters really can take advantage of it so yeah. far. You know, like, there's not, it's not a huge... Especially in this now. game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, in older games, every, like, people you are doing it. all over the place. But in any case, uh, so for this section, we just wanted to go do a big review, but mm -hmm. just... Actually, a small review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TLDR. Um, so, TLDR. like, we talked a lot about a lot of things here, like you know, because we wanted to cover all the different basics yeah, for the one, game. And one person was even like, "This is a lot to take yeah, in." Yeah. So, so for these types of people, like, like you know, like this is the section for you right here. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to tell you, okay, if you're new to the game and it's like, oh man, this is so overwhelming. Just focus on. We're gonna tell you a couple of things just to focus on first. Right. And then just work with the game, just knowing these things, and don't you know worry about everything else. And then once you get comfortable with the game, then that's when you start exploring and right. doing other, you know, options and like, you know, you know, you learn the game this way. Just kind of yeah. Like I said, this game is a really well designed game that all these options really work with each other well. So the whole goal is to play without some of the options, learn the game, and then eventually you'll be like, in this particular situation, I really wish I had something extra. And, and chances are do. it's there, yeah. and then you learn to put that into your game. So yeah. you definitely want to build up on that. And I mean, I've been playing Guilty Gear between X and all the way through Accent Core. Not Accent Core Plus R, but through Accent Core, right? So I used to play all the way through them. Like I said, I never really used instant blocking all that much. Obviously, I'm not super high level competitive at this game, but me and my friend were able to have plenty of fun in this game, you know, without it right away. And we learned a lot of stuff with it. And then we're at a point now where probably the both of us could learn to start <laughs> putting it in there, you know? Yeah, so, so the th things we want to go over is like things you probably, like, like things that are like. To uh, focus on. Yeah, surface level, but deep enough so that like you're not going to get like hit by like really crazy things and like, you know, <laughs> you'll, you'll be able to get to. A decently high level, re pretty quickly, just focusing on these. So, um, so let's go back to that list real yeah, quick. Yeah, no problem. Sorry, I'm doing comments. Yeah, just now. too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so for the movement options, just know the differences for the uh, like knowing when when you can double jump because it's really good as a defensive option, yeah. and also super jump. The fact that you know you get the turn around and things like that. So that's just something to note, and then also air dashing. Yeah, air like, dashing and ground dashing, very important. Remember, back dashing has invincibility. That'll yeah, help. so those are the kind of just the main movement options you want to just focus on. Right. Um, and then, let's see, for the let's see here, for next section, for like Roman cancels. Yeah, again, again, for buttons, for buttons, oh, for um, buttons. just in general, 6P, 6H, is a universal thing. So six yeah. P is your anti. -air. Yeah, most 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 notably the six P because it's kind of like oh, I don't know what to use for anti air. I don't know. Try six P. Right. You know, mm -hmm. just try it. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And then um, for the Roman cancels, or yeah. like for button combination type things like uh, like yeah, Roman cancels are important to note to learn in this game. It's one of the things that you have to just start using in your arsenal. Yeah. As for what combos to do with Roman candles and stuff like look that, it up. look it up. Yeah. Right. Um, you can you can find a lot of resources. Yeah. Um, uh, but but it's it's very character specific. So like, mm -hmm. don't worry about it too much right now because uh, I think we'll we'll go over it when we do the character breakdowns and mm -hmm. we'll show you where most players will typically use their Roman candles. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and then let's see for next uh, thing to note would be the burst. Yeah. So like know that the gold burst, you know, it's good for you to try to get meter if you're right. gonna like hit him with it. But and at first, use burst for combo defense breaker. Defensive, yeah, yeah, just combo breaker. mainly you want to just use it. It's like like start comboing me. Mm -hmm. So it's just like oh, I want to get out. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. I'm blocking. It's like oh, stop it. I want to get out. <laughs> you know. So right. it's like you know, just so you could get back into the game. Mm -hmm. 
but just remember you have limited amount of bursts. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you see people burst early because then they can build up a burst. Yeah, so it's actually a legit strategy to do that. Or even like right off the right off the bat, you're gonna run up and do a gold burst. 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 So you can get a lot of meter and steamroll them in the beginning. So or the very first combo they hit you, you're like, screw this. No, I'm I'm out. Yeah, Yeah, because because of the character type, like they'll Mm -hmm. they'll they can win off the momentum or something like that. Uh, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that that, that, those are some little the smaller strategies for that. So um, and then the next thing the other next thing to learn would be faultless defense very important you know like it's mainly for you know pushing them out preventing chip and also air air blocking so I think those three things are the things you want to mainly focus on especially the air blocking because even for me man like I played it for like I don't know a good like half a year with plus R and I still would not air block properly <laughs> and then people have to yell at me say hey yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, FD yeah. man uh, mm-hmm. you gotta do it so it's like so. I said I mean I've I, it's been such a long time since I played Guilty Gear like that habit mm-hmm. has left my brain <laughs> like seriously before when I played Guilty Gear X, XX and stuff like that I would green block everything. It was just part of my natural, yeah. you know, muscle memory. So, and, and then when I'm playing play, playing Persona, I'll just, I'll start holding FD. <laughs> 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 oh, I, I don't do that in this game. <laughs> right, but right. yeah, but you know, it, it's it's part of the game. It's big part of the game to learn to do this. Otherwise, you're gonna take a lot of unnecessary damage. Right. And then, um, so yeah, we're not even gonna mention the stuff that we don't want you to learn. Yeah, right yeah. Away, so, so we're not so. we're not talk about that. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I want to talk about throws because that's yeah. a big part of like what kind of turns people mm-hmm. off about the game, like you know because they're so powerful, like so like real quick you know it's they're one frame, so if you do if say if he James does like a bad jump in or then, like, if I do a bad meaty you can just yeah, wait, like do yeah. a wake up throw. Oops. Or, is that a not throw? Yeah, there yeah it is. see oh. like. He, he didn't have the meaty well, I'm just going to mash H's. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to think, man, why does this guy like win if he just yeah. mashes, you know? Or if I, if, I do like a bad, if I do like a bad jump, or uh, hold on, let me uh, just do this bad jump in. Yeah. Like, and then, you know, I'll, I'll get thrown for that. Right, like so, that. And then, you know, the guy's mashing. It's like, I'm just mashing H until, so I can throw you. Mm-hmm. And like, it would infuriate me because <laughs> I get thrown everywhere. Dude. I'm like, ah, oh, what do I do? Okay, so my friend who I played this with was the king of throwing in between jump and block. <laughs> a jump and grab. In fact, he even threw my Johnny kick, you know, where the, he slides forward and kicks. Oh, he would man. just throw that as yeah. soon as it came. So basically, it was funny. He did it so much that I started learning it. And then I played at a Guilty Gear tournament at Finally Arcade. He just threw everybody. And I threw a bunch of people, and they were like, why do you throw? How do you throw so much? Because <laughs> I just got used to it. Yeah, because, no, but throws are super yeah. powerful. So learn to use them, yeah. like, especially as an, like, anti air, too. Yes, yeah, so again, that's forward or back and heavy slash. Same thing as in the air. So they jump. And it's really a really strong anti-air. Right. Oh yeah, and also someone else mentioned jump again, jump again. You cannot air throw at other directions like diagonals. Oh really? Like you can oh, in a that. lot of other fighting games, which is actually what messes a lot of people up when they try mm. to air throw. You have to be left or right, otherwise you will not get okay. it. Okay. Do it again. Oops. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So it has to be left so, yeah. or right. So yeah. And then like, uh, like I said, like as powerful as it is, like. Because of that, you gotta learn to, to bait it. So the yeah. be, the the three ba- uh, three best ways to bait it is uh, doing a tight block string, uh-huh. and then you go for the low. Right. Because uh, because they have to stand in order to the throw low. you. Right. And then you get a free combo. So, so I since, get hit by that all. Day, yeah. So, so. It's, you know, a lot of times I'm doing it too. Like I <laughs> mash throw, and then if, if they're doing a super tight string, so, yeah. I get a free low. You know. Yeah. The nice thing about this game though is that most combos that start low have higher damage proration. Mm-hmm. So not a lot of damage, but you know yeah. you, you lose the advantage. Yeah. And then uh, another way is to like say do do jump jump H with Sol, like oh, or actually not not, not not yeah. air dash one, but yeah, right. I can actually don't walk forward. There you go. Oh, sorry. Hold on. So I'm mashing H, so that pushes him out right. of my of, Throws have of very throw bad range. range in this game, yeah. it should be noted. See, I can't throw until I get, like, right yeah. till I'm kissing him, basically. Yeah, so so there's a lot of moves. So learning some of the moves, like, with your specific character that mm-hmm. keeps you safe from, you know, block, you know, mm-hmm. that that's really good to note. And then you can kind of, like, frame trap them. So since H is, like, really slow, you can do something fast, and then it'll, like, mm-hmm. poke him out a bit. And then um, another thing is you could also like if you if you do a jump in, then you can kind of like just jump jump right, again. Right, right, right. Uh, do you know, it again. Just, like, 
and then I whiff yeah. because I tried to throw and I whiff my attack yeah. and then he can punish me. So that's those are some of the things to look out for to try to avoid mm -hmm. just getting thrown to death and just getting super yeah. annoyed. Because I know I was super annoyed <laughs> when I started learning the games. Like, oh, yeah, and, and really you got to be careful if you play against really good people who air throw a lot. That's oh, just, yeah. You just have to get used to that. There's mm -hmm. really not much. And, and in fact, a lot of times people will do combos, so don't block really quick. Uh, let me think if I do like... Like if I do the purpose, uh, I, I'd have to have the right sequence. But there are certain setups where they'll hit you, go into an air combo, expect you to flip, and then get an air yeah, throw off so, of that. So. So. But that's a teching thing, so. Yeah. Uh, and then let me see, is there anything else we want to talk about? Can you just scroll down real quick? Yeah. Uh, no, I think that's it. So I think, you know, a lot of this, the, the defensive options are kind of what make the game really interesting. You know, everybody can learn offense. Right, right. Because it's like, you know, you look up YouTube videos or you look up <laughs> combos and stuff. But the defensive options kind of make make the game, like, it, it's, it's, it makes it kind of stranger than other right. games. And so I, I think these things that we just talked about will help you a lot. Just, you know, take it piece by piece and these little things knowing the tidbits that we just gave you will help you a lot with knowing the overall game a little mm -hmm. a little easier especially when you like watch streams and stuff <laughs> and you're like saying why are these guys doing all these crazy things right. you know and then like the commentators are talking about like 6p and like fd and like whoa it's like flying past your head right, right. hopefully this will help you kind of be able to digest that so yeah so just to be absolutely thorough mm -hmm. um so this is the end of the tldr no more yeah. TLDR. This All right. is other stuff here. So this will be that YouTube clip. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes. So just to be absolutely thorough, we have not talked about other things like danger time. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, I don't really want to... Because even people who play this game a lot hate danger time. But danger time is a thing that exists. Sometimes Clash randomly generates danger time and then people take huge damage. Mm -hmm. No one's even really explored it fully. No one really knows what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure there are some combo monsters that kind of... They, 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 there's combo videos <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with, with uh -huh. it, but I've never seen an actual tournament match where people start doing, like, Mortal Kombat only. Right, like, right, yeah, yeah. You know. And then, uh, obviously, there's instant kills in this game as mm -hmm. well. So if I hit all four buttons... Don't hit all four buttons that are not dust in this game, by the way, because yeah, you go into a really bad situation. But there are instant kills. They only work at certain uh, levels Anime. of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they only work at certain levels of uh, damage and stuff yeah. like that. And also so. note that uh, for instant kills, there's a special situation where you can make it activate instantly, and you can combo it. Yeah, combo yeah, yeah. It. You can combo into it, but you the character already has to be already almost pretty much dead, pretty so, much almost dead anyway. So usually so. it's not that. It's big just of for a swag. Deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But which which I appreciate <laughs> for, for the designers to, also, to give us that. Also, the last thing I want to mention too is that there is something called Hellfire, which is basically if your meter, if your life is low and that life bar is flashing, if you do a super and hit the enemy with the Oops. super. It says Hellfire, which Ooh, basically, damage. dude, that, that, that yeah, was crazy. it does extra damage, but only on supers. Yeah, only, only on supers, supers will do extra damage when you're in Hellfire mode, and your meter has to be flashing. But again, that's kind of something that just happens during the natural course of the game. So yeah, yeah so um, you you don't have to notice it, but yeah. it, it, when you see it come, I was like, why did I do so much damage? Then you know, know that that's that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that covers pretty much all of the, the main systems. Like I said, a, a lot of things that a lot of people did talk about, like micro-dashing, instant air dash combos, and, and stuff like that, I've covered in execution episodes. So check that out. Just search for that on YouTube. So, yeah, I think that's about it. So, then. yeah, so I think in the coming weeks we'll, we'll do some character breakdowns. Yeah. You can see in the, in the link that we gave, we already have some notes. Mm -hmm. Um, like, I've been trying to consult with a lot of character specialists that are kind of known. <laughs> like, so you'll see in the list I have, like, Marvisto. You know what we should do? Huh? We should gather their Twitters as well. Oh, yeah, so and help people promote are, them. If, so basically direct people because look a lot of people are going to start asking me like oh how do i play elf <laughs> i'd be like look man okay yeah <laughs> go so talk to nerd josh I'll, okay i'll add it to those documents because uh -huh. like i i did have a section for each of the characters where it's like players to watch yeah, so i picked uh -huh. some japanese players and i also picked right. some some american players 
I was trying to see if I could find their Twitters. I don't yeah. know if I could find all of them, because especially the Japanese ones, like, I, don't, I don't know all of <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, and they might not even be able to speak English anyway. Yeah, so. so but, but, like, if you really want to learn, for example, Venom, you said it was a... Black, Black Snake. Black I, I'm, Snake. Tr- I'm reaching out to Black Snake for that, uh, for him. Right. Um, like, Beautiful Dude, I'm asking him for his Zato stuff. Right, right. Uh, Nerd Josh. Beautiful Dude sucks, though. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Julian. He doesn't kidding, win tournaments. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Uh, for, uh, who I is, just gotta go talk to El Gato. Oh, Zidane <laughs> is the great Leo, right? Yeah, Leo uh, but for for, Z- uh, so for Leo, I'm reaching out to either like Fu or Taste yeah, of Steve yeah, or Steve, yeah. Zidane. So there's, there's those yeah. guys. We'll try to get you a good pool of people that you can go and ask questions yeah. to. Yeah, so, so, so I'm the consulting goal. with them. So a lot of this character data, like I verified with them just to, you know, just so you know, it's not like, oh, we're just talking about our, out of our ass. And it's like, <laughs> right. yeah, we think this is what's good, you know? <laughs> right. So we're, we're trying to make sure it's good. The nice thing is, Normally, when me and Dave go through a lot of characters for new games, we nobody knows anything. Yeah. Yet. But this game has been out long enough that there are experts, so it's really dangerous to give wrong information. Yeah, at this so, point, especially. <laughs> yeah. So Henry is doing a lot of the research there. So thank you for that. Uh, he's he's doing most of the legwork on that. So. Yeah, AKA want, all of the letters no. <laughs> on that. Yeah, so, I mean, we just want to make sure you guys get good info and get have good mm-hmm. resources. So, you know, like being able to talk to like these players, you know, like mm-hmm. and also like kind of highlight them, you know, at, at the same time, you know, right. cross promotion. Yeah. Yeah, exa- no, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That's what we want to do. We want to promote all the resources out there and, you know, get people to know all the good resources and everything like that. Spread in the love. Man. Mm-hmm, for Spread sure. The love. So yeah, but you'll 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 get my take on Eno because <laughs> that's that's my character. <laughs> I can do sin combos. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I'll do though because my sin is pretty bad right now. So, so yeah, so I mean we have some that are already submitted by some mm-hmm. like I got uh, uh, Axel for Toki. I mean maybe, let's take yeah, check let's out what I got so far. You got Axel for Toki for Axel. You got Delta for Bedman. Yeah, from SoCal. You got Choi Sauce for Eno. That's right. You my info's Mar- legit. <laughs> Marvisto for Kai. You Marvel got- S- Marvisto is so sick. Yeah, he's I love his Kai. Kai. And you got Pain for Ramlethal. Yeah, so Pain's super legit. I think uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know of any other Rams that are like as, as yeah. high level as him. Uh, except for Japan, obviously. Yeah, like Daiji. Daiji, that's what it is. Yeah, but and then uh, uh, Fado, Fado, Fadugli. Fadugli. Uh, like. I don't really know many of the Slayer players around, mm-hmm. but like he's a guy from UCI that I play with. Oh, okay. Dude, he's really good. So oh, okay. like, not a lot of people know who he is, but man, his Slayer's legit. Interesting. For okay, sure. okay, because I thought the sl- strategy for Slayer was just get beat up and lose. No, his and his cry Slayer's about really good. Slayers. He's really good. So <laughs> he knows how to make sure he doesn't cry any any okay, man's okay. So. <laughs> And then uh, right now we also have uh, info from Ag. The senpai. Who's He's basically the best soul in the in States. America, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say so. That guy's ridiculous, Whew, dude. man. Age is ridiculous. It's so. like, if you ever play him, you're like, you you never felt more defeated in your life. <laughs> right, it's, yes. It's, it's a fact, trust it's me. It's so discouraging playing against him, I swear. So, so if you ever run into Eroji online, just know that <laughs> you're going to get a beat down. <laughs> nice. Uh, and yeah, and also another thing too is I know that there's a very active scene in Guilty Gear in NorCal. Oh yeah, they're big. Specifically, so um, go if you try to go online and you can't find many matches, try going to NorCal area and see you find lobbies. I know there and District stuff like that. N- District Nine B is like the 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 place where most people go for for online matches. Oh really? Okay, okay. E- e- even like SoCal people go in there because the room is so usually popping. <laughs> right, right. But but yeah, so uh, you know I'm gonna be reaching out to other. People, especially like like May, like I have no idea yeah. about May. So I, I, I need ton, help. I, to, I watched a ton of May videos. So one thing that you're gonna get about a lot of characters, it's basically annoying the opponent until you get the hit and making <laughs> sure you convert. Yeah, that's a lot of the character strategy in this game. But the cool thing about it is every character is so different that the way you get that hit is so different. One of the things. I've always enjoyed the most about Guilty Gear is when you watch two people play Guilty Gear. Oh, no. Fight after fight after fight after fight, every round looks different. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting because a lot of games you, you get, like for example, like Marvel, it's like when you fight Zero, like every match looks the same mm-hmm. almost, right? Yeah, I mean, know? what's really cool is like, you know, say you watch a, like a replay and you don't see any of the names, mm-hmm. you can tell, once you get used to the game, <laughs> whose character that is. Yeah, like, who's say, playing you know, if, yeah. if someone saw my Eno versus, like, Hono's, like, Hono's Eno, you know, right, from NorCal, right, right, they'll right. tell it, no, yeah, this is definitely Hono, or, no, this is definitely <laughs> Choi Sauce, or this is definitely Minus. Right, you know, right. you'll see it. 
and like really like you, you there's a lot of freedom of expression in this game which is really really cool right. you know you can play the way you want your character and there's a lot of freedom you know there's a lot of like you know this is like the core of the character right. but like the way you play it, it's like there's so much yeah, freedom. Like, like if you watch the way uh, Sanchez has been learning Sin is so different than the way that I've been learning Sin. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to land combos. Mm -hmm. He's just playing this really good zoning kind of Yeah, just game. mid range so, and stay yeah. there kind of game. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's, it's really, really crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. So, Okay, in any case, uh, I think... Oh, can I plug some stuff from my own? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, absolutely. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Just real quick. Again, thanks again for <laughs> Choice Sauce. Like I said, he's been doing all of the legwork for this. So thanks for him. He, he, he made an outline, okay? I mean, we have a document here for this show. <laughs> Me and David never worked that hard. <laughs> Yeah, I have teaching experience, so I, 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 yeah, I want to yeah. make sure you know everyone's on the same page. Yeah, and one of the things, things that you just... teach really well is guitar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like uh, lately I've been trying to do a stream every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. for on my channel. Mm -hmm. Like I just started last week, right. but I'm going to try to do like classical guitar and like play like Final Fantasy and video game music. So, you know, you guys check that out on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. Twitch yeah, TV I used to... Uh, choice I, sauce, so. I, shared the, I shared your... Uh, the eyes on me the oh, guitar yeah. with a bunch of my friends and oh. stuff like that because it's really good yeah it's really good. yeah that was one of my my, my good yeah, <laughs> takes for sure yeah so <laughs> what's your youtube channel uh my youtube channel is henry Choi music okay and but uh my my twitch is uh just that choice sauce right. so but the henry Choi music you is where you have the um the videos yeah the videos right yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. you can you can find it like I'm also on Twitter choice sauce eighty five it's a it's with the Y yeah, not a C H O Y sauce yeah. yeah more like bok choy right well like <laughs> more like soy sauce oh like, that's okay where I based okay it off okay of. gotcha gotcha yeah that's that's right exactly uh, K K D Z yeah K D Z yeah there you go yeah cool. so pl please give me a follow and uh, follow me on Twitter if you can you know uh, and then if you have any questions about Guilty Gear too, ask me. You know, I can direct you to like people if, if I don't know the answer. Right. You know, if, if I'll... it's about Eno, he can answer. Oh yeah, it, so. dude, we got some we got some cool tech. So, <laughs> <laughs> so right. yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, I I've, I've generally retweeted his streams when he plays. I mean, if I see them, I'll retweet them in time mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. stuff. Like I retweeted your last one as well. So definitely check that out. So really cool stuff. Okay, cool. Well, again, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for coming by and helping yeah, me no with problem. this. So finally get to teach some Guilty Gear to people. Yeah, so. hopefully uh, we get a lot of new players, you know, grow the scene. Yeah. Because Guilty Gear yeah. is great. I mean, uh, a lot of fun. I think the, the one thing about it, uh, it, it does is it is intimidating and it is a lot of stuff, but it's one of those games where it really increases your skill skill because the skill ceiling is really high mm -hmm. so that's kind of like that yeah, those are the kind of games i like yeah yeah, you know? yeah. And, and, like high skill ceiling but it's like really fun a lot of options yeah and it's really interesting too because uniel is another really fun game that we've both played a mm -hmm. lot of and you saw arturo doing super well in tournaments with dalsum recently yeah. he's attributed it all to the fact that he plays uniel yeah. a lot so you can see how a lot of these different games can help you out guilty gear is a game that will help you learn a lot of really fun, good fundamental things. Yeah, so. you know, just playing a lot of different fighting games, you, you just get better overall, so, you know, man. give it a try, man. You know, command grab resets. I can't yeah. believe they gave her that move, I'm so angry. Hey, there's a ways out of it, man. <laughs> we'll show you. We'll show you in the coming weeks how to beat it, okay? That's right, that's right, that's the preview. <laughs> so. Alright, cool. Thanks everybody for tuning in, and uh, yeah, thanks again, Henry, for stopping by. Yeah, so. no problem. Alright, peace out, everybody.